Hey everyone, it's Kevin here with visualproductivity.net. We're going to go over the edit menu in XMind 7. And I'm going to hopefully show you a couple things you haven't really thought of and let's see if we can go in and just teach you a little bit. And again, I'm going to make it short and sweet. I've broken everything down. You can see I've got a visual image of the edit menu on the left hand side of the screen. It's the same one that if I were to click on edit, so it just makes it easier and it's there all the time. If you want your own copy of what I'm using, you can head over to visualproductivity.net and download the XMind 7 cheat sheet and it'll have everything that I've got in here plus much, much more. And all I ask in exchange is that you check out my email newsletter. So I'll need your email in order to do that. All right, guys, let's talk about a couple things. I've broken the whole thing down into four different sections. There's some typical Windows functions. I'm not going to talk about these. Either you're into keyboard shortcuts or you're not. If you're into Windows keyboard shortcuts, you already know everything that's here. Uh, moving on to selection. This is something I like to talk about. So the first one is just going home. If you find that you've been, it's a huge map you're working on, this one isn't very big obviously, and you're way down on the branches, but you want to go back to your main menu. Right now our main menu is the edit menu. By hitting control and the home key. Now let's see, control, home, pow. It centers the map and it takes us back to the home thing, the central topic. All right, select all, that's control A, that's no big deal. Uh, something that I would recommend checking out is the select brothers. So if I'm on here, if I'm on one of these, the brothers are any of the ones that are on the same level. So one, two, three, four, five. These are all, these are all brothers of each other. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit control, shift, and A, and it selects those five topics. Simple. Selecting children is neat. What this will do is it'll go in and I'll select children. If I want to have all these, instead of going through, I obviously I can go and I can do this by using the keyboard or I can go and I can highlight them with the mouse. If I'm already on this thing, because I usually, when I'm going power using, I like just using my arrow keys and shift and enter. I can hit control alt A, which is a little bit more of a tricky, I think, short uh, keyboard combination but it'll highlight all of the children nodes, all the ones that are one down from the node that I had selected when I was hitting it. Let's move on to the Windows functions. These are tools that I think are not used as much, at least the find and replace. Check spelling, there's a spell checker, you know, for the most part, though for me, like I say, most maps are just for me. I don't really care if the auto word is misspelled, I don't like it, but um, you know what I mean? Okay, <laughs> all right, that's my, <laughs> poor attempt at humor. Uh, the one function that I do like is the find and replace. And this is something that I think is not used as much. If you're using my XMind cheat sheet, I recommend using the find and replace. And it's like anything else in Windows, it's control F. So I can pull it up and I can find whatever I'm looking for. So I can put in Windows functions. There's probably only one of those. So I'll go ahead and hit find. And oh, look at that, there's actually a couple. Okay, well, there we go. So. There we go. So typical and other, and those are the two. But what it will do if there are, if it's on different maps, and I can choose the whole workbook like I have here, is if there are, it's on several tabs, it'll flip through the tabs and it'll show me each individual spot where it's located. Let's talk really briefly about preferences. This is a huge, huge section, and I'm going to have a whole video just dedicated to preferences and show you how to optimize everything. Let's click on it, and I'll show you. Uh, there's some general things in here. You can set your home map. You can link up your bigger plate account if you want to do some sharing, dragging and dropping. It just gives you some options. I go through and I just detail everything. Let's see what else I wanted to talk about. The local network sharing, you can determine the name you want to have on, whether you want to have no network sharing on or off. Talks about map shot, where you want your files saved. Um, search engines, there's the themes. And XMind Pro will show you which version you have. There's a lot of stuff in here. And again, I don't have to, I'm not gonna spend too much time. This is more of a, an overview of what you can get out of the edit menu. But there you go. If you want more, again, you can check out the XMind 7 cheat sheet that I've got on visualproductivity.net. And guys, I appreciate you for watching. I've got tons of videos. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment down below. And hey, uh, feel free to like it or share it or do whatever you do. Do what you do. And we'll, uh, we'll talk soon, guys. Take care.